problems, especially humans. Tell your doctors about all medicines you take. Pradax's side effects include indigestion, stomach pain, upset, or burning. If you or someone you love has AFib not caused by a heart valve problem, ask your doctor about reducing the risk of stroke with Pradaxa. Jolly Rancher and Twizzlers Bites are so soft, chewy, and filled with their fruity selves. They think this world isn't big enough for the both of them. But we assure you, it is Bites Little Greatness. Smucker's Natural Fruit Spreads are made with a few simple ingredients for a sun-ripened deliciousness that makes every day simply extraordinary. For the name like Smuckers, it has to be good. Pictures, pictures, you guys are sending them in from all over the place. Maria, I'm gonna let you tell us uh, a little bit about them. And I'll just say that the AP, by the way, is telling us that 3,000 yeah. flights Tuesday were canceled. Airports from Washington to Boston affected. An additional 885 flights for Wednesday called off so far. Amtrak still talking about what they'll do. Yeah, and, and T.G. Shuck sent these pictures in from New York City, and even if you could get to the airport, you'd, you'd be there oh. for a while. And I saw a delivery man in one of those pictures. You got to order out, but you got to think about the guys on the bikes trying to get that food to you. But uh, enough of, of snow on the ground there that you, you need to kind of just sit tight. You know, let the road workers do their work. It'll make your life that much easier come yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, it really will. And, and one thing we can do for you sitting at home and to keep you entertained and amused, by the way, is we'll go to live shots everywhere. And our Stephanie Abrams right now is uh, outside hey, for us. Hi, Steph. I like to say, I like to say <laughs> yeah, Midtown. Keep everyone amused. You say keep everyone amused. Yeah, there you go. Be standing in the snow. Well, Thanks. informed. How about informed and amused? How about how about that? Yeah. How about that? Okay, you look okay. great, Steph. I miss you. It's it's been like a good 30 seconds. Six hours since I saw you uh, in New York. Now, wait a minute. So, 30 Rock, I like to say Midtown. Um, I'm looking at uh, yes. the area around you that looks pretty wet and cleared, but mm -hmm. that's not indicative of what's happening in New York City. So, talk to us. Yeah, because this is a tourist area, right? So we're right where a lot of people come to try to go to the skating rink. The Christmas tree once stood just right behind me. So they keep this area very tight, if you will. They've got the salt down and whatnot. And I'm also surrounded by buildings. So what you can't see is the wind that is whipping through the city right now. I walked over here um, from my apartment and you can kind of tell by the flags right back there. You can see them whipping pretty good. And it almost sounds, Sam, like you're on a boat. You know, when you hear when you're on a boat and you hear that clanking of like the metal and the wind. It, it is a particular sound that's right in that area at, at that Rockefeller Center when those flags are That is a beautiful way to describe it. It's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. It, you want to say that the sound is nice and serene, sounding like a marina or yeah, something, right. but then you know it's and really the wind. And then you open your eyes right. and <laughs> the snow. <laughs> and you see what's around you. Um, that shot, by the way, uh, Stephanie was talking about in New York City, just talking about the snow mm -hmm. that's stacking up as we go through that area. Already uh, much lighter traffic we could see when we showed you the Times Square area. Folks are at least paying attention and staying in. And here's here's what I say. It, it's better safe than sorry. You know, just chalk it up as a, as a day. You just, just hang out and stay nice and warm because this is what it looks like on the radar. This is all blue corresponds to all snow. That's another interesting <clears throat> thing to this storm. Yep. There's no worry about the rain snow line. You know, as a forecaster, Sam, that is that is one of the toughest things. Right. And you don't. And, and in New York, particularly because having forecasted there for about 25 years, Maria, when you try to see where that warm air is going to mix along the coast, the cold air air came in first mm -hmm. and that's how we knew all of this was going to be snow all the time and so cold that those snow totals are going up with very little moisture. Maria is going to show you where the deepest snow pockets are falling right now. Maria. Uh, yeah, we've got the snow that started in the Midwest and we were talking about laying the groundwork with the, the bitter cold. We had temperatures that were already close to or below freezing and it all started in the Midwest and we're going to see a reinforcement of that cold behind winter storm Janice and again with that next drop of that Arctic air mass. So let's talk about the numbers to help you prepare what we're going to see when we wake up tomorrow morning. How about one below in Minneapolis? Uh, coldest so far this winter registered a 23 below on the thermometer January 26th, but you can see we're not going to get in that territory. That's our new benchmark, at least for this, uh, this season. Obviously, it is going to be brutally cold. Obviously, you're going to have winds and wind chills that are going to be a lot tougher to deal with. Right now, out the door, you're at 14 below in Minneapolis. Just on the thermometer, going to feel a lot colder than that across much of the Midwest the next few days. Sam?
Hey, Maria, I want to quickly just tell people about a story that we've popped up on weather.com. By the way, this is Sean Breslin, associate editor for uh, weather.com. You've been tracking a, a headline story for us. We're talking about a propane shortage. So That's you've it. put the story up online. Tell me the areas that are affected right now, because as we drop these temperatures, that becomes critical and prices are doubling some places. That's right. We've got a major issue. It's affecting at least a dozen states uh, across the country, actually more than that. And um, it's actually a rural problem. Most of the cities are, are now using natural gas, but in these, in these areas where um, um, the houses aren't quite as, um, they're, they're not as warm as, as they would be in the, in the cities because they don't have as much insulation. They're right. using uh, propane and these areas are not getting the propane they need. All right, now it, this isn't something that's going to go away. This started with the early season. A lot of farmers are using propane to keep crops and keep heaters going uh, and keep water spraying, uh, warm water spraying early in the season. Now that shortage continues. How long do they think that's going to last and how long will prices go up? Is this all in the story, by the way? Uh, yes, it is. And there's actually, uh, there's not a whole lot of optimism about how long this is going to last. They're worried that it's going to last into the winter. They're trying extremely hard to get these areas as much as they can get, but it, it's really tough to say. All right, we'll be right back. I have a big meeting when we land, but I'm so stuffed up I can't rest. NyQuil cold and flu liquid gels don't unstuff your nose. They don't? Alka-Seltzer Plus Night fights your worst cold symptoms, plus has a decongestant. Oh, what a relief it is. LegalZoom has helped start over 1 million businesses. If you have a business idea, we have a personalized legal solution that's right for you. With easy step-by-step -step guidance, we're here to help you turn your dream into a reality. Start your business today with LegalZoom. This February, for 16 days, join us from 3 a.m. Eastern every day and share in the greatest moments as they happen. Live, NBCSN, your live home of the Sochi Olympic Winter Games. And the Olympics begin February 6th on NBC. Currently in our area, 71 degrees under cloudy skies. Our local Doppler radar. For tonight, clear to partly cloudy, slight chance of a rain shower, low 48, winds west at 15 to 25 miles per hour. For Wednesday, sunny skies, high 63, winds northwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. The week ahead. A Crest 3D White Smile reveals your playful side. It amplifies your creative side and shows your sophisticated side. Crest 3D White Toothpaste. It removes up to 90% of surface stains in just five days. Unleash your smile. Crest 3D White Toothpaste. Life opens up with a whiter smile. Use this collection together to whiten in just one day. Okay, guys, let's huddle up. Feel a little tired, maybe a little fat? Let's do something about it. Introducing the all-new Fast Five from Nutrisystem. Lose five pounds your first week. Nutrisystem is the winning game plan. Here's Jason. He called Nutrisystem, and the pounds started burning off. I needed a program that was as easy as checking a box. That's Nutrisystem. Let's break it down. A week of delicious meals designed to speed up your weight loss and give you a great start now. Superpowered shakes that'll boost your metabolism and crush those cravings. And you won't get hungry because Nutrisystem has your back. They'll crush the cravings before they ever get to you. Call now to order your 28-day My Way plan and we'll rush you the all-new Fast Five free. Get one week of energizing shakes, one week of craving crusher shakes, and a bonus week of meals absolutely free. Lose five pounds in your first week or your money back, guaranteed. Come on, guys, get back in the game and call now. Call 877-312-SIZE and lose five pounds free. When different people come together in pursuit of the same goal, the same perfection, the same excellence, the same reward, are they merely rivals? Or are they utterly, fundamentally, uniquely the same? 
The Olympic Winter Games begin February 6th on NBC. <sighs> Coldies lozenges are clinically proven to shorten your cold. Our new Quick Melts also promote immune health from rose hips, echinacea, and natural energy. Cold D zinc ions released in your mouth inhibit the cold virus from replicating, while natural ingredients promote immune health, antioxidant support, and energy. I'm Ted Carcass, CEO of Coldies. I guarantee Coldies will shorten your cold or your money back. No questions asked. He has dropped the Weather Channel. Join the more than 3 million people who are taking a stand. Tell your friends and family they have a choice. The Weather Channel, I think one word, essential. You need to stay with us. This is a really volatile situation. The sirens were going off, so I turned on the Weather Channel, see what was going on, and sure enough, there was a tornado warning. So thank goodness for the Weather Channel. Switch now and get the Weather Channel back on your TV. Visit KeepTheWeatherChannel.com and let your voice be heard. Welcome back into Weather Center Live. Eight minutes before the top of the hour. And I could have played this last hour, hour before. This is a live shot, but it yep. hasn't really changed that much. Maybe a little wider. With the snowfall, the good news is we have the LIE open. Right. The airports in the New York Metro are open. Well, in theory. In theory. Yeah, in theory. because a lot of you flights aren't going. You may not have a flight, going, yes. But, yeah. Yes, but they, they, haven't, they haven't shut down just yet. Of course, we want to be your source of information. Keep in mind, we're on the air right now, but we're also at weather.com on your mobile device, too. You can always check that anytime you need. And one of the things we're going to do for you is talk about traffic, because if you're sitting at home right now waiting for someone to get home to you, you need to stay put, but take a look at the roads. On this graph of the New York City area, take a look at the yellow areas. The yellow triangles will be the slow areas. Anything that's ground to a complete halt will be that circle. Uh, circle out with a little red zone there, and that means that there's nothing moving in those areas. There are quite a few of those, but you've seen those road surfaces, so you know exactly what to expect. Um, we just heard, by the way, mm -hmm. we were just told from uh, Carl Parker, um, who you're going to hear from now, that we've had some snow, but Carl, not done yet, right? Not not even not even close to done you yet. You know, that's right. Uh, low pressure is really just going to be developing over the next several hours, and uh, as it moves up into the Boston area tomorrow morning, those winds will be crazy. They're already pretty strong, gusting up to about 25 and in some cases 30 miles per hour. And let's take a look at how much snow has come down already. There's a pretty good stripe now of more than five inches, and that extends from central Jersey down across the Mason-Dixon line into southeast PA, all around the Philly metro, and in northern parts of Maryland. So that's what we have seen so far. Now the snow is still going strong, and look here on the water vapor image. What I'm looking for is this spin in the atmosphere. And just ahead of that, there is lift in the atmosphere. Now that that lift is coming up and into the mid-Atlantic region, a surface low pressure is developing, and we can actually see where the snow is starting to fill in with that developing low now around the Delmarva. So again, the main part of this storm is really now just getting going, starting to really crank. And here's the model forecast. So you've got this big swath of snow going into 9 o'clock tonight, still coming down in Philly and D.C., certainly so in New York, starting to really come down across uh, much of uh, southeastern New England. Then it's going to wind down early in the morning in Philly and D.C., but still going strong in Long Island and Boston. And by this time, notice the yellows on the model here. That is very intense precipitation with that much stronger area of low pressure that by extension is pulling in stronger winds out of the northeast. So the winds will be screaming here 30 to 50 miles per hour on the south shore and out along the Cape blowing that snow around you know the rain snow lines well offshore it's very cold and that means the snow is going to be fine and powdery and easily blown around so going forward what we're looking for is a pretty large area of five to eight inches from central and northern Jersey across Long Island up into southeastern New England and then a pocket of eight to twelve into the Boston area here's the current radar picture look at the stripe of heavy snow from New York up through Connecticut and into the Boston Metro. So we're getting into some moderate snow in these areas and already again there is wind. It's just not to the level of a blizzard. But here's the wind forecast. So 15 20 miles per hour right now but going into overnight and tomorrow morning 30 to 50 miles per hour Provincetown and Nantucket. That is enough wind to seriously reduce the visibilities. That's why the blizzard watches are now in effect here across uh, warnings I should say across parts of southeastern Mass. 
and out into the islands and we'll see near blizzard conditions in many other parts of New England. So Sam Maria, it's going to be a very tough morning tomorrow in New England. Back to you. Long night tonight. Yeah, absolutely. I'm one of those geeks, I'll say it. Um, I look at the pressure tendencies you know, the change of pressure over three hours, and they're still dropping. I, this is the, see, it, no. I love it. I, I don't, no, I want to lovingly say so do I, but I don't. It's still developing. So that's, it, that's it, that's it, in a nutshell, you. it's still um, developing. It is, and we showed you the wind stream. It's an amazing yeah. tool to be able to show you exactly how that thing is wrapping up, and I, I love that Carl's there to do that. Uh, do lead me through the top five. This yeah. is something I've never done before, so what is it? We count down five great videos of the day, and they're all coming from Winter Storm Janice today. Number five, we take you to D.C., the Capitol Visitor Center, closed today as a result of the winter storm. We had all the tours for the Capitol today. They've been canceled and Congress has been checking in today, but no legislative business. In all of our videos that we've seen today, these are the top five. Number four, Bismarck, North Dakota, just blowing snow along I-94. These are likely to change as we go through the night and into the day tomorrow. So check with us every hour for the top five videos. All right, how about number three? We've got chopper aerials over I-65 between Indy, Indianapolis and Louisville, Kentucky. A lot of accidents and had to be shut down for a time, my goodness. I have driven that road, not when it was that bad, mm. though. Number two, Winter Storm Janice video from Illinois, 10 miles north of Mount Vernon. We call at Southern Illinois, ladies and gentlemen, shut down, blowing a drifting snow along, uh, heavy falling, reduced visibility. It's everywhere. It's not just the East Coast. And you see a trend here, driving problems. Number yep. one, very dry, uh, dangerous driving conditions. Northwest Indiana today, drivers were slipping and sliding off the roads. Many accidents, thanks in part to that very strong uh, lake effect snow band. Settle in with us, ladies and gentlemen. We are showing you a live shot of Washington, D.C. We are here all night long with Winter Storm Jam. Currently, the temperature is 71 degrees under cloudy skies. Here's our local Doppler radar. For tonight, clear to partly cloudy, slight chance of a rain shower, low 48, winds west at 15 to 25 miles per hour. For Wednesday, sunny skies, high 63, winds northwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. for a crippling commute. Almost a white out here. Winter storm Janice is poised to dump as much as a foot of snow in places across the mid-Atlantic and into the Northeast. We have 60 trucks ready to go. Impacting more than 80 million people. It's cold. An event that I was going to got canceled because of the weather. Blizzard conditions as well. Wow! It's the heaviest snow I've ever seen. And timing couldn't be worse. People need to stay in. It is going to be deceptively uh, slippery. We're setting up for what could be commuter chaos. Don't go anywhere. Everything you need to know to stay safe right now. From the Weather Channel headquarters in Atlanta, you're watching Weather Center Live. Hi, and thanks for joining us. Uh, everything you're going to see throughout, I'm Sam Champa, by the way. This is Maria <laughs> oh, by the way. Oh, by the way. <laughs> Um, this is my first day on the air here at the Weather Channel, and everything you see tonight, throughout the night, and into the day tomorrow will be live, live coverage. Mm -hmm. We have amazing, incredible folks out in the field. Because this storm is actually strengthening, mm -hmm. and we're talking about winter storm change. Uh, we mean it when we want to say everyone get prepared and make sure you know everything that you need to know to make sure that you and your family get through the next few days. But we want to take a look at everything from D.C. to New England where the snow is coming down. How about starting with Jim Cantori right now in Washington, D.C.? Jim. Jim, my friend, didn't have a big snowy morning, got some now. Yeah, and this is pretty much going along exactly uh, as we planned it. And, you know, Sam, for everybody out there who thought you were kind of a figment of everybody's imagination coming to the Weather Channel, here you are, buddy, live on the set right now. <laughs> All right, this is, this is real. It's not a dream anymore. So welcome, my friend. I appreciate uh, having you certainly on uh, this evening, uh, getting us through Janice, as you will uh, for so many times in the future, that's for sure. But as predicted, 
we knew the I-95 corridor was going to get hammered in through here, and that's exactly what's happened. The good news is not many people out on the roads. I think the core of the rush hour was really between three and four. A lot of people left early here, and even here, uh, traffic is continuing to wind down. But still, a lot of slick spots, and we'll talk about why that is and why the temperatures are going to continue to go down in just a moment. Let's head up to Syosset and Long Island. Uh, Janelle Klein, Janelle, you were talking earlier about the LIE completely packed up with people out in this cold and wind and snow. Yeah, hasn't gotten a lot better, Jim. Unfortunately, we are still seeing a lot of problems here in Sahasset. Along the LIE, traffic moving a little bit, but really a tough commute for people leaving work today. Some of them, of course, left early knowing how bad the conditions would be, and they are not getting better. We are starting to see snow really pick up and the winds pick up as well. We'll have the latest in just a bit. But for now, let's head over to Mike Seidel, who's in Plymouth, Massachusetts. Hey, Janelle, we're out here right on the coast, Plymouth Harbor, just off the Atlantic. Look at the horizontal snow now approaching two inches already. And keep in mind, the blizzard warning doesn't officially start for another uh, couple of hours. And this is what happens tonight and tomorrow. Temperatures in the teens, snow and blowing snow. And look, look at it blowing around. And this is just a 20 mile an hour wind. Sam and Maria, I know you'd much rather be out here throwing snow in the air. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt that we would, Mike. I'm actually, well, no, I'm not going to say that. Maria, um, I'm, I'm happy being right here in the studio for this one right here when we're talking blizzard-like conditions. Uh, you know what? I'm slightly okay with it. I'm slightly okay with it. Uh, but we love seeing Mike out there. But it is amazing to see the fluffiness of the snow. That's just one of the, the interesting facets to the storm. Because the temperatures have been so cold when the snow's formed, it's not that wet, heavy snow that you sometimes get. Another interesting thing I want to point out before I kind of take a tour here is notice the the, the strip of the snow here. There's not a lot of east-west progression here. It's continuing to snow over the same areas. That's a sure sign that you've got a developing storm. It kind of pivots around and holds up the progression and the movement of the snow. Washington, D.C., around the Beltway, everywhere you see the darker shade of blue, that's where the, the snow is a little bit more intense. You have it northwest Philly suburbs. You have it in the New York metro, and it's coming into the Boston metro as well, Sam. Hey, Maria, and we're getting to that just after the top of the hour time when a lot of people are checking in because maybe you've already gotten home and maybe you think, hey, it's been snowing all day and I'm sure it's just about to stop because I know the wind's going to pick up, but I don't think it's going to snow all night. Aha. Uh, our storm specialist Carl Parker says this thing is really just really cranking up. So let's go to the Global Forecast Center. Carl. Yeah, and it really depends a lot on where you are, but it will snow all night in New York and then for a lot of the night in Philly and D.C. and it's going to go right through the middle of the day tomorrow in Boston and take a look at what we've had already for snowfall. Five inches officially in New York City. Fox Chase in Pennsylvania, seven inches. Cherry Grove, West Virginia, nine. Yardville in southern Jersey coming in with 10 inches already, and we've got more on the way. It's still coming down pretty heavily in parts of Jersey. Heavy snow with quarter mile visibility now being reported in Teterboro as well as Caldwell. And I want you to notice this little band that's shown up here. So we've got a developing low pressure, and what it's doing is increasing the contrast in temperature in the atmosphere. And because of that increasing contrast, we're going to see more of this banding going on and it's getting heavier as we speak around the Lehigh Valley and not very far away from Philly. So we've seen generally five, six, seven inches in the Philly metro and going forward, especially north and east of town, another five inches plus about three to five into downtown Philly. And uh, then farther northward, snow getting pretty heavy here across southern Connecticut. And we'll have more on that coming up a bit later on in the show. Sam Maria, back to you. Hey, Carl. And we keep getting information coming in on how this storm is already making news headlines. The storm put a dang, uh, damper on uh, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie's inauguration, mm -hmm. forcing the cancellation of an evening party on uh, Ellis Island. Uh, Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick postponed his annual State of the State address. Meanwhile, the Philly Flyers postponed their Tuesday night hockey game, just to let you know of a few going on, and there's a lot more to come with that. It, it helps to get everyone off the road so that the crews can do their work. We know that's been the situation in, in a place like Washington, D.C., where it's essentially been shut down. You couldn't go to the museums. They were closed. But Jim Cantori managed to get out and about and uh, report for us live since this morning. Jim, how you doing? Yeah, when I first got out here, there was nobody out here, okay? And that was about 3.30 this morning, and uh, there was also no snow on the ground. So as we expected with the storm, the main impact, at least for the largest area, was going to be this evening uh, for the rush hour. But we are far from over with this thing. Carl's talking about the cyclogenesis uh, off the East Coast, which is classic of a system like this that goes from Clipper to Nor'easter. The winds are going to pick up. We've gone from 40 at midnight here to now 25 degrees, and the winds out of the Northeast gusting to 20. So 
tomorrow. Wind chill is right around that 10 degree uh, area, and it's only going to get colder here, folks. Snow is light and continues. We'll probably wind up with about four to six inches here in downtown, north and west, five to 10, as much as a foot, uh, again, up and through the hills. And that's the problem, guys. Once you get northwest of DC and Baltimore, it becomes very hilly. And once you hit that incline on a slippery slope, especially with these temperatures now in the low to mid 20s, it is going to get awful. A lot of people left that came in this morning between three and four o'clock. We've seen much lighter traffic here in and around the Capitol uh, as of the last certainly hour. So that is great news. Let's get everybody home, get everybody self and ride, ride this thing out as we have a cold day tomorrow. Windchill advisories till noon. You've never watched it like this before. Never taken the time to just watch. But something about spending this time together, sailing past ancient glaciers in Alaska, talking under a universe billions of years old, makes you realize how old time is and how short life is. She can take all the time she wants. Princess Cruises, come back new. Wait! Prilosex not made for immediate heartburn relief. Zantac's different. Zantac rushes relief in as little as 30 minutes. Prilosec can take 24 hours. Zantac, no pill relieves heartburn faster. Hey, the new guy is loaded with protein. Really? 25 grams of protein. What do we have? All four of us together? 24. He's low fat, too, and has five grams of sugars. I'll believe it when I Ooh. eat. <laughs> What's shaking? As you get older, protein is an important part of staying active and strong. Ensure high protein, 50% of your daily value of protein, low fat, and 5 grams of sugars. See, he's a good egg. <laughs> Ensure high protein. Ensure nutrition in charge. Weather in Oklahoma can change in a matter of minutes. We had been told by the Weather Channel that the weather might get dangerous in the afternoon, but living in Oklahoma, you always hear that. I saw the tornado and told the teachers to hold on to the kids real tight. You could clearly see that we shouldn't have walked away. Life after the tornado is good. Don't take anything for granted because it can be gone before you know it. Currently in our area, 71 degrees under cloudy skies. Our local Doppler radar. For tonight, a few showers this evening with mostly clear conditions overnight. Thunder possible, low. 48 winds west at 15 to 4 Wednesday a mainly sunny sky high 63 winds northwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour our seven-day outlook yo play Greek 100 100% Greek, 100% mmm, so mmm, you might not believe it's 100 calories. Yo play Greek 100, there are hundreds of reasons to love it. To truck guys, the truck is everything. And when you put them in charge of making an unbeatable truck, good things happen. This is the Ram 1500 the 2014 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. And first ever, back-to-back -back champion. Guts, glory, Ram. My feet felt so heavy at the end of the day. They used to get really tired. Until I started gelling. I got Dr. Scholl's Massaging Gel insoles. When they're in my shoes, my feet and legs feel less tired. It's like walking on a wave. Dr. Scholl's Massaging Gel insoles. I'm a believer. Oof, 
Yeah, that, that does nasty. not look good at all. All right, this is Pennsylvania right now. Highway 276, I believe that's probably the Philly metro area. We know officially Philadelphia at the airport has set a daily snowfall record of three and a half inches, but more is coming down and has come down since that measurement was taken. Yeah, it isn't going away. And of course, we're getting right into the crunch of the drive time home and likely you're sitting at home waiting for someone to get back. And so we want to make sure you know exactly what's falling, what the roads are like, what the travel conditions are like. Unfortunately, you have 276, the LIE, a lot of roadways are looking like that right now with backed up backlights all red right now. And it's going to be a bad night for anyone who needs to get anywhere from that Washington DC area all the way up into I think Boston and beyond to the north. Um, so let's take a look. Janelle Klein is showing us a live picture out of uh, on the LIE and this has gotten so much worse in the last hour. As we start to lose that daylight, we get into the nighttime hours, then your headlights hit that snow. Everything's a white out in front of you. Mm -hmm. Winds pick up a little bit later. This is a big reason, folks. I know you're trying to get home. Once you get home, stay home. It is likely to take a long time. If the LIE is already at a standstill, mm -hmm. that's not good for that commuting situation there. And one of our reporters in the field, right along the LIEs, are Janelle Klein. Uh, and Janelle, you, you tweeted a picture out uh, about an hour ago. And I'm telling you, except for it being mm -hmm. dark, the, the picture has not changed. No, it has not gotten any better. And as you guys have been saying, probably a lot worse. The traffic's still moving quite slowly. We're seeing the winds pick up as well, and that has reduced visibility. The National Weather Service is warning that we could have visibility as much as a quarter of a mile or less, and that's not going to get much better as the wind picks up. We're starting to see drifting snow and blowing snow, and we are seeing traffic slowing down as well. There are points where traffic is barely moving at all. In other places, it's only about five to 10 miles an hour. So definitely a tough commute home. And as you just mentioned, as darkness starts to move in, it's not going to get much better. So people urge to be very cautious out there tonight on the LIE and elsewhere because travel conditions are getting much, much worse. Take that, Janelle, thank you, and transfer it all the way to 95, mm -hmm. transfer it to every road around mm -hmm. Philly, transfer it driving into to Boston as well. This is, as we're calling it, commuter chaos uh, with yeah. this storm, Janice, as the winds pick up. It is not making it easy, and certainly for everyone who's trying to take care of the transit system, including in the Metro Transportation Authority. And we're joined now by Kevin Ortiz, who's with the MTA. And Kevin, thank you so much for taking time out with us. We know you're, you've got to be busy. How is everything holding up? Because we know, uh, even a little bit of snow in a big city like New York, it is tough to, to keep ahead of all and of it. And maybe a foot. Yeah. Maybe a foot in New York. So, Kevin, hi. It's Sam and Maria. Just tell us what you guys are doing so far. Um, sure. Well, um, good news on the subway and commuter rail front. Um, really no issues um, in our subways. We've dispatched uh, 800 workers to shovel and salt subway, uh, subway platforms and stairways, and we've got an additional 1,700 uh, track and signal personnel on duty um, at strategic locations available to address any problems. Um, so we're seeing pretty much normal activity uh, on the subways, uh, on the commuter railroads, Long Island Railroad and Metro North Railroad. Uh, they're running a normal schedule with some weather-related delays through the PM peak. Uh, so right now, things look good um, on the subway and railroad side. All right, Kevin, now I know that overnight tonight, you guys, we, we got to talk about the exposed tracks as well. Uh, you got a lot of underground subway, that's true. You're taking care of those steps there, and you're taking care of signals that are out. But talk about those exposed uh, rails. How are you going to keep up with that overnight tonight when the wind uh, picks up and starts blowing that snow around? How, how do you feel about that? How confident are you? Sure, Sam. Well, you know, despite all the work that's being performed, there is a possibility that some of the outdoor lines, um, you know, we're talking about the Dyer line up in the Bronx and on number five, the Sea Beach Kevin, line. Kevin, I'm so sorry. We have a hard breakout. We appreciate your time with us. We'll be right back. Hey, Mom. Yeah? We've got Allstate, right? Uh-huh. Yes. Well, I found this new thing called... Allstate Quick Photo Claim. It's an app. You understand that? Just take photos of the damage with your phone and upload them to Allstate. Really? So you get a quicker estimate, quicker payment, quicker back to normal. I just did it. But maybe you can find an app that will help you explain this to your father. Introducing Quick Photo Claim. Just another way Allstate is changing car insurance for good. Puff snows winter is hot on your face. The start of sneeze season. The windblown watery eyes. The sniffling guy in the bus. And of course, the snow angels with your little angels. That's why Puffs Plus Lotion is soft. Puffs Plus are dermatologists tested to be gentle. They help soothe irritated skin by locking in moisture better. So you can always put your best face forward. A face in need deserves Puffs indeed. Go 
got COPD like me, hey, breathing's hard. Know the feeling? COPD includes emphysema and chronic bronchitis. Spiriva is a once daily inhaled COPD maintenance treatment that helps open my obstructed airways for a full 24 hours. Spiriva helps me breathe easier. Spiriva hand inhaler teotropium bromide inhalation powder does not replace fast acting inhalers for sudden symptoms. Tell your doctor if you have kidney problems, glaucoma, trouble urinating, or an enlarged prostate. These may worsen with Spiriva. Discuss all medicines you take, even eye drops. Stop taking Spiriva and seek immediate medical help if your breathing suddenly worsens, your throat or tongue swells, you get hives, vision changes, or eye pain, or problems passing urine. Other side effects include dry mouth and constipation. Nothing can reverse COPD. Spiriva helps me breathe better.